Welcome to the Smartboard Revolution Global Virtual User Group Special Edition, a Smart Survival Guide. This edition, this episode is using the pens and writing. So on your Smartboard you have your pen tray. I have an older 600 version, so I have the four pens, black, red, green, and blue. Uh, if you have a newer 800 version, you have the one pen with the four color buttons. It doesn't matter. When you pick up a pen, you can start writing. And by default, so I picked up a red pen, so it's going to write red. But if you notice up in the toolbar, so I picked up the pen, the pen tool button highlighted, and I have eight preset choices. So I picked up the red, that's what it defaulted to. If I put that down and pick up the green, it defaults to the green. But if I have the green pen in my hand and I want something different, I can tap it up there in the toolbar and still with the green pen in my hand I can draw something different. Okay, And these can all be changed if you, I mean, you already have a red, black, green and blue, so you don't necessarily need those up there. You might want to change those to be different if you use something a lot. And that will be the topic of another video. But all you have to do is pick up a pen and write. It is an interactive whiteboard, after all, and as a whiteboard, you can use it to write on. And when you are starting out with a smart board, that's a great way to use it. You don't have created lessons already. You have to teach your lesson instead of using your chalkboard or your overhead or a, a regular whiteboard. You can use the interactive whiteboard because these notes, these pages can now be saved, uploaded to a website for students to review later, for students who are absent, etc. So pick up the pen and just write. Now in Notebook 11, you have the different pen options. And again, the adaptive toolbar, when I pick up a pen, it switches to the pen. And then this section over here changes and gives me a chance to adapt and change the properties. So right there allows me to select the pen type that I want. So this is just the regular pen. There's the calligraphic pen. Kind of gives it a little bit of a calligraphy look and makes it look kind of nice. And again, with a pen in my hand, I can select any color and use. There is new to Notebook 11, the crayon. So selecting a crayon and a color, color in, Select other colors, so using an art, having the kids be creative, and it's just kind of fun to use sometimes, something different, the highlighter, the highlighter is great when you are going over text with students. Select a highlighter color and you can be highlighting lines of text. Notice that it's see-through. And you can, you've got your thick ones, you've got it all thin. Um, and it's nice that it kind of straightens it out for you too. So if you're tracing a line of text, it'll straighten it out for you a little bit. Uh, we have the creative pen. These just give you kind of interesting designs you can use for borders, creative, to highlight something, to trace you know, the outline of a certain continent or country. Smiley faces. And just a single tap also gives you just one. Uh, let's go to the shape, 
shape recognition pen. So if you need to draw a quick circle or oval, you can just draw it and it will try to recognize the shape you're drawing and pops it to, to the shape for you. So that's a quick way to make the shapes. And then finally, the magic pen. The magic pen is used more for presenting. So if you want to put text up, but you don't want to leave it there, you want to to disappear so you're presenting you you annotate something and you don't want to have to erase it you can use that now, the only problem is if you make an O sometimes okay that one didn't do it because making a circle with this turns it into the spotlight tool and once you have the spotlight tool, if you tap in the middle of the spotlight and drag, you can make it bigger and smaller. And then if you tap out in the dark part, you can move it around. Right? So does anyone remember what this is called? Does anyone remember what this is called? What was this one called? What shape is this? You tap the X to close it, and then if you need, if you draw a rectangle, it zooms in. It's your zoom tool. So again, tapping in the middle of the blue box, you can expand and make it smaller. And then tapping outside of the blue box allows you to move it around the screen. And to get rid of it. Tap the X. One last thing about text is that if you tap the text, you get a drop down which gives you some options. And the top one lets you recognize the written text and turn it into text, which then you can resize with the resize handle in the bottom right corner. You can rotate with the rotation, the green arrow or the green circle, which will rotate handle so grab your pen start teaching your lessons saving these lessons because we're going to talk about what you can do with them in another lesson so join us for our monthly spurt bug meetings we get together but around the first of each month we have presenters from around the world we have members from around the world joining us and you can find out when those are and find links to the previous meetings at smartboardrevolution.ning.com. Just like I showed you. See you online.